Tonight, Luke Min Flanagan on the disappearing penalty points, chaos in the Dolls Technical Group, and the leaders' questions on the mortgage crisis. With us are Luke Ming Flanagan, independent TD for Ross Conlon South Leitrim, Joe O'Reilly, Fine Gael TD for Cab Monaghan, and Eve Lyons, political correspondent for the Irish Daily Mail. We'll be joined later by Lydia Murphy, one of the producers on this programme, and by John Breen, writer, director, and playwright. If you'd like to come to the programme, you can text us at 53131 and place the board tonight before I come, to send us a tweet at hash from B or email us at tonight at tv3.ie. Let's have a look at uh, Luke Min Flanagan's contribution to the Dáil today on this issue of the penalty points. And he refers to a bill, and it's the uh, Criminal Justice Spent Convictions Bill 2012. I believe this is a mean-spirited bill designed by people who come from an area of low crime with no understanding of how people have got into the problems in the first place. Worse still, in this country, if you come from the right area, you will potentially not even have to go to court in the first place. I have some examples. On June the 3rd, I was heading for Dublin in my car for a meeting in the Dáil building when I was stopped by a guard the car. I had been using my phone and the guard in question told me that I would be receiving a fine. I distinctly remember thanking the guard in question for doing his job well and that maybe his actions might in fact extend my life. I headed off on my business and received a fixed penalty notice in the post. A few days later, I bumped into a guard the sergeant and I bumped into a guard the sergeant who informed me that he was aware I had received a notice. He asked me what had happened and I told him the story. He told me that I was covered under the rule in relation to travelling to the Dáil. I informed him that there was no point but he insisted that I write to the station and explain. I did so and no points were added to my licence. The name of the guard in question I will supply to Minister for Shatter in order that he can use it in his internal review of the penalty points issue. Now I had planned to name him in the Dáil but have been informed by people who seem to know how this place works that I would have been stopped and that would have been the end of my speech and uh, um, Deputy Durkin is kind of suggesting that. That is not all though. In December of 2011, I attended a meeting in Roscommon County Council buildings. When I was approaching the roundabout at the bill, at the, coming up to the council building, I was stopped by the Gardaí and informed that I would be receiving a fixed penalty uh, points notice because I was on my mobile phone again. I said OK and headed into the meeting. At the meeting, I casually mentioned that I had been foolishly using my mobile phone uh, while driving and that I would be getting two points. The meeting proceeded and afterwards I drove home. I spotted my phone ringing about 10 minutes into my journey and uh, I do learn a lesson eventually and pulled in to answer. On the phone was a senior county council official informing me that he had sorted out my penalty points issue for me. To this day, I have neither received penalty points, points nor a fine. Whatever about the case whereby the points were removed on the grounds of travelling to the Dáil, there is in fact no case for what happened in this situation. So not only is there a cohort of Gardaí who are going around asking people do they want points cancelled, but it appears that there is a franchise system going on whereby if you are cosy with the senior Garda, then you too can have people's offences quashed. So when it comes to the Spend Convictions Bill, it is, as I have suggested, a bill which has been put together by people who come from areas where crime is very low, and even if they do commit an offence, they'll never have to face the charges. Now, the Guard, the Commissioner, and the Minister may not believe that this is true, but the Guard, the Commissioner, has said on announcing the penalty points fraud investigation that there is no question of what has been described as a culture of non-enforcement of penalties being tolerated by Angarda Siakana. How can you explain my experience then? I did not ask the guard the sergeant in question to get involved, but he insisted he should. I do not believe it was an attempt to trip me up. I believe it is a culture which has festered for years and that all the guard was doing was what he had learned along the way. Whatever about that, it is quite extraordinary to think that a senior county council official would feel confident enough that approaching a senior Garda would enable them to have penalty points quashed for a citizen. Now many people will say, why did I not release this information before the press released some of it? 
Well, I had understood that it was illegal for the Gardaí to release such confidential information. Strictly speaking, I was really the only one who could release such information, and had intended to do so upon the publication of Minister Shatter's internal review. Now, that wasn't my original idea, but eventually, as far as I was concerned, I worked out this is where it would have the most impact. The intended effect of this would have been that on the day that the review was launched, I would have been able to clearly show that there is systematic abuse, something which I believe the report will attempt to whitewash over. I have now contacted the Fines Office in Clare and asked how can I go about getting what should have been imposed on me as a punishment in the first place brought back, namely my fine and my points. I finish by saying I now call on the reported 15 members of the Dáil and the Shannon to come out and tell us were they approached by the Gardaí Síochána, or did they, in a proactive way, go to see could they have their points removed? And then, then maybe on this issue for a start, the Spend Convictions Bill, we can talk about it with a little bit of credibility. But we cannot, so long as we have a system in this country where the important people never have to go before the courts in the first place. Thank, Thank you, Deputy. Um, Luke, you said you wrote to the Garda station. Tell us about that. This is in relation to the June the 3rd. I assume, assume this was June the 3rd, 2011. Yes, yeah. And um, that, uh, this is, you were caught using your mobile phone, told by Agatha God that you um, would get a fixed penalty points notice. Yes. That you would, uh, and subsequently you met a, a sergeant who yes. knew of this, did the sergeant? I uh, actually went out of my office and uh, by God, you have to be careful with the use of English. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said bumped into because someone has suggested I bumped into them and had a bit of a chat with them. Um, uh, they were quite obviously looking for me uh, because they approached me. This is in Roscommon. This is in Roscommon. And uh, they knew about this fixed Who's penalty they? notice. You, 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 or sorry, they, that person, that individual. Right and uh, basically uh, explained, uh, asked me uh, what was the situation, how did it come about. Uh, I told them uh, the story that uh, I was on my way to uh, Dáil Éireann, uh, well, on the way to uh, the Dáil buildings to uh, go to uh, a meeting, and uh, they informed me that uh, basically uh, because of that, uh, I would, uh, if I wrote to the Garda station, uh, that uh, I wouldn't have to take those points. I made the point uh, to the guard uh, that really, you know, I didn't see, pardon the pun, I didn't see any point in doing that because, uh, well, I shouldn't have been using my phone. And uh, he basically uh, said to me that, uh, um, that uh, I'm just trying to remember exactly what was said. He basically uh, said to me that, uh, no, um, if you were going to the doll, uh, that uh, you, uh, basically, uh, that I didn't have to take the points. So I wrote the letter to the guard station and uh, the points were wrote off. Now you could say, I shouldn't have written it. Uh, what was I doing writing it if I didn't believe in that? Uh, but uh, I, uh, I have to say I was a little bit bemused as to why the guard there approached me in the first place. And uh, I had some notions of using that in the future. But then again, uh, I suppose you can try and be a little bit too smart at times. And uh, it uh, basically didn't get used when it should have got used and it sort of went on too long. I had uh, maybe uh, hoped to uh, bring it up uh, when uh, Alan Shatter brought out uh, this uh, report on uh, the penalty points, uh, because as far as I'm concerned, the report that's been done will be a whitewash. It, uh, uh, in my opinion, will show, it will say that uh, uh, there isn't a common practice within the Garda Síochána of wiping out penalty points, at which point I would have come forward and said, look, there is I never actually approached the guards. They approached me. Yeah. They did wipe off the points, but uh, I suppose uh, that's not the full story now. Mm. And, and like there, there's, a, there's quite significance in what you've just said. Mm. The first is uh, that when you were approached by the guard and he asked you what happened, why? Mm. Uh, tell us about that. What did he ask? I you? explained to him exactly. No, you know. He asked you what happened. What, what, yeah, exactly. He asked you what happened what? about? 
what were the circumstances in which you got uh, you got caught yeah, how did I get my penalty points? And I explained to him that basically uh, I seen I was on the phone, I'd answered the phone and that uh, basically there was a car. Uh, I discovered then there was a car behind me, the, a squad car, and I pulled in. Uh, they uh, basically uh, uh, told me that I'd be getting a fixed point charge, etc. And uh, I explained to the guards, how, that not the guard there, but I explained to the guard who approached me that I was on my way to the doll at the time. and. Uh, yeah. He uh, what was the relevance of telling him you were on your way to the doll? Well, I was. I was going and up to a meeting. Why, like, if you, what, what difference did it make whether you were on your way well, to the doll? Well, he asked me what was I doing and where was were, I going? You were driving somewhere, that's mm -hmm. all. It wasn't relevant where you, where you were going. Well, you could say that, but I told him that anyway. And when, when he advised you, uh, when then you were later approached by the sergeant, and uh, and no, was, no, you've got it wrong. Um, I, it, it was the sergeant who approached me and asked me that. The guard, sorry, uh, the guard who initially stopped me and oh, sorry, uh, sorry, pulled sorry. me for it didn't okay. ask me, oh, didn't right. say that I, at I'm all. Sorry. I'm sorry, yes, yes. yes I actually right. said to the guard right. okay. in question that, okay. uh, as I have said in the doll, that if you uh, are, basically... Uh, you, you're, yeah? you're making an issue of principle of how wrong it is for the Gothi to be abolishing penalty points for important people like yourself. Mm -hmm. 